So we're here at Arm TechCon, and who are you? I am John Mao, Director of Strategy at Calzada. So what are you showing here? Uh, we're showing off our newly launched chip based off of the Arm Cortex A15. Uh, we announced it on Friday, and so we're demoing it here uh, at Arm TechCon 2013. Chip, you're showing the chip, it's right here. The chip is inside of the server. Yeah. We have a proof of concept kind of server that we're showing here. Yeah. It's got uh, 12 SOCs running inside of it, all based off of the Cortex A15 processor. It's so, in there? It's inside. You don't take it out, right? You don't take it out, no. The no. secret? No, it's not, it's not a secret. No, it's not a secret. It's just yeah. uh, Arm provided this nice kiosk and booth for us, so we're, we're, uh, we're accommodating the system inside. So, you're running the server on it? Right, so we're showing off a demo right now, which is uh, featuring some of the uh, capabilities of the A15. Uh, the, main, the main advantages of the A15 processor are uh, LPAE, provides you more physical memory, even though it's a 32-bit processor, we can support um, 16 plus gigabytes of memory, for example, um, on, on this chip. And the other, the other, the other nice thing about the H15s are the hardware virtualization. So this is the first, to my knowledge, the first server instance of an A15 processor running both the KVM hypervisor and the Zen hypervisor. And we're showcasing this inside of the OpenStack infrastructure as a service uh, platform right now. So, so how do you, how can you have 16 gigabytes of RAM? How, How does that work? Uh, it, it's all still four, uh, four gigabytes per process, so it's still a 32-bit uh, virtual addressed um, processor, but it allows now 40-bit physical memory, so you can support theoretically up to a terabyte of memory. But, um, but, but we're, for, our, for our chip and the systems we're developing right now, we're focusing around 16 gigabytes or about four gigabytes per core. Four gigabytes per core is quad core. It's quad core, that's right, 16 cores, uh, 16 uh, gigabytes. So how soon is this on the market? So we'll be seeing production servers coming to market um, as early as the first quarter of next year. We had an announcement, um, actually HP had an announcement on Tuesday that introduced their new Moonshot platform uh, based off of the, the Cortex A15 processor from, from Calzada. So how much has happened with the Cortex A9 uh, Calzada processor? We've got, yeah, good question. We've got a lot of traction right now um, with the Cortex A9 processor, uh, specifically in the storage arena. So we're getting a lot of focus around cloud distributed storage. So basically the, the, the clustered approach, you know, software defined storage approach um, is seeing a lot of traction. Um, that's what we're focusing on, and now we're starting to expand into more, more of the cloud infrastructure with our A15 processor. So, how does it compare A A9 to A15? How much different yeah. the market is for you? Oh, now? the market the market significantly bigger. Um, I think uh, you know we'll be able to address a lot more applications. Um, I don't know the exact numbers, but the performance also improves with the A15 significantly. So, you know, anywhere from two to three times the performance of the previous generation. So that will help also address more applications. And can you talk about Calzada, the company? Are you based in Austin? Yeah, so Calzada is based in Austin. We have a, a, an office here in uh, the Sunnyvale area as well, uh, focused on R&D. Um, and we're, uh, we're growing really fast. So You're anybody, growing? We're growing. If anybody is looking for uh, a, a, an awesome place to work and doing some really cool things with ARM technology, look us up on our website, www.calzada.com, C-A-L. X E D A. How fast are you growing? Is the secret how many employees or? Uh, it's, it's probably private for, for online, okay. but we'll be happy to, to share. It's a it's a it's a good sized company right now, but we're still growing. And you're announcing even roadmaps, right? You're announcing uh, you're announcing that you're licensing 64-bit. Yeah, we did. We did announce on Monday that we've uh, introduced. We have two 64-bit chips on our roadmap now. Uh, one is codenamed Sarita. Um, and we'll start to see samples uh, probably in the middle, or early samples in the middle of next year, um, and then production samples late into the year, probably production systems around early 2015. So, fully honestly, how, what do you think about the future of ARM servers? I think the future is very bright. I mean, if you look around here at TechCon, uh, all these different vendors, all these different, uh, different uh, manufacturers, all doing things a little bit differently. So it's really around, uh, you know, focusing on different aspects of, of the server market. So we're pretty excited. We think we have some very unique, innovative IP that we've added, our secret sauce we've added into the SOC. So but we're, we're, we think the future is very bright for ARM as a whole. If I think that 90% of all new servers will be ARM powered in like three years, is that ridiculous? That seems a little high, but it's not impossible, right? Nothing's impossible. Seems a little bit high, 
Because um, all that cloud computing needs to be on there. It's true. I think if we can crack one or two of those cases, I think the, the growth potential is pretty huge. 90% is pretty big. I mean, Intel is definitely have, they have a large presence still. Um, so we don't want to discount or you know, minimize what they've done. They've done a great job. So I think there's definitely room for an alternative. And I think the ARM, the ARM ecosystem is ready to, ready to be that alternative. All right. So. Uh, Thank you. And uh, there was an HP video that was pretty good saying that without the ARM servers, there's no future for the planet. Wow. Weren't they saying, I mean, they weren't exactly <laughs> saying that. What they were saying, you know, there's so much more storage, so much more processing needed because people are getting yeah. so many devices that do so much more. Yep. And there's no way we can just have it running on, on x86. I, I, I actually agree with that. I think, um, you know, something has to change within the IT industry, and this is definitely one. I mean, the, the data center growth, you know, the, the always connected world that we live in now with, you know, social media, that all places demands back in the data center. So I think there's some truth to that. I don't know what the numbers are, but I definitely see that being a, you know, real problem that all of us are trying to solve.